This is it, right? I think... Yeah, this is pretty much it. Let's go. Not before we fill in some of these skills. Any last skills I want to try? Oh, the, the gauntlet. I still got to try the gauntlet, too. Berserk Blast, the spear. Mm, I didn't really try this that much. And then I don't think I have enough to um, do the last upgrade here. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Oh, did I miss something else? Oh, I missed this one, too. And this one. Probably because I thought that tree wasn't important enough. Let's see. Let's see here. The last argument is pretty nice to play with. Sky Killer. Prize weapon saved from a Quinn shipwreck. Pretty cool too, but this one's better. Now the... Sun Scourge Spectre Gauntlet. I can put this, I guess, Tinker... Wait, the Shredder Gauntlet? I haven't really been using too much, have I? Which one do I use the least? Tinker's Pride? Tinker's Pride, which one even was that? Oh, it's the Trap one. Yeah, I definitely don't use this one that much. Okay, so I guess we can have this one here instead. Railgun? Shard Barrage Pack? This is like... what was it? So that's... we can charge it? No, no, no. Yeah, we have to put the thing on the, the guy first and then start shooting at him. This is the railgun pack, so this is like... charge up. But we're not gonna use it right now. Oh, we used it already by charging it up. Gotta be careful then. Okay. Let's go. You hanging in there? Barely. I guess. Not even talking to me. <laughs> Mounds cannot be here. Let's go right over. Oh, check this out. Got a whole tide ripper. Nice, guys. Officers would just stay out of the way. Is this not far out enough? Mm hmm Yeah, we don't need the... campfire anymore. Let's fly there. One last fly! Pretty much. We'll hope all goes well. We can even take advantage of the potion that I accidentally took. Wow, just looking at that sky. The lava... streaming out of the mountain. Which means the volcano is still active then, right? Something we might want to be a bit careful about. Sega's probably already waiting for me. Water wing, I repaired you earlier already. Why are you still half broken? Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Seika? Oh, 
Oh, there was another one. Whoa! Okay. I fell further than I thought. Why did I just fall all the way down? I couldn't grapple onto it for some reason. That's fine. We can fix this. <laughs> this is the same place I was at before. Yeah, I couldn't reach that grapple for some reason. Here we are. Okay. When Sega gets here, we'll have to find a way to get to Londra. Stop him from carrying out his big plan. Better wait for her at the campfire. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna go with this outfit. I'm fine with it, actually. You're here. I'm guessing your sister made it back okay? She's with the Admiral's Guard now, helping the last of our people out of Longest Park. Gives her something to focus on instead of brooding over what happened. I hope it helps. So what do you say we put an end to all this? Very good. Yeah, it's time. Let's get going. Okay, so Lonja's probably in his bunker, right? We'll have to get back in there. D <laughs> oh god. Uh Yeah, I don't think Lonja's in the bunker. Back at the park, he said he's going to crush us like bugs. Pretty sure he's going to use that. But he doesn't have a reactivation signal to reboot its systems. He needs a more direct connection. You think he's actually inside that thing? He's piloting it? option. We need to find a way to stop it from powering up. There. It looks like it's hooked up to some kind of cooling system. If we find a way to disrupt it, it might cause the horse to overheat. Uh... That might be tricky. I knew we should have destroyed the pumping thing. We saw it before. More machines brought back from the dead? I don't think so. Laundra must have used the horse to make them. We better hurry. Come on. Wow, now they're just showing off how pretty this looks. Time to get to that cooling system. I'm with you. We all can climb down here. Is that one alive? Corruptor's blocking the way up. We'll have to deal with it. Ready. Hello, Aloy. Is that you scurrying around down there? So good of you to make it to our grand finale. Go away. Oh, let's try practicing with this. How about? There, right, on right. Basically, try to aim for a weak part and then just... We don't even have to aim that much. I'm trying. Oh! No, don't, don't. Not this one, okay? This one's basically dead. Here's my commitment to using a new weapon. Probably works better if we. I'm winded. I need to get my stamina back. Okay. Punch. It's not bad. But it's very different from anything else we've used before. We're good, we're good. We can get up that way. Probably the way that I was supposed to do before, instead of flying up. <laughs> Just in case. Mm. 
Make sure we're stocked up. Oh, we could have exploded stuff. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> oh no. Where are you hiding, Aloy? Nowhere. We'll have to avoid that thing to get to the cooling system. Assault drill. Heavy drill head attached. Equipped to the end of Horus' tentacle. Capable of devastating strikes. Invulnerable to standard weapons damage, so don't even try to attack it. Those ruins can give us cover. Stay close. I don't think he can see us if we stick to cover. Hope you're right. Just I know you're down there. That big overhang ahead can give us cover. I was gonna say we're below him. He shouldn't be looking at us. That big overhang? Get through that fire gleam. Seriously, Aloy, we were doing so well on the stealth. Not anymore. Ah, Woo! Our leading ladies. Still in one piece. Let's go. I mean, really, what hope do you have here? I think we're in the clear for now. What are we gonna do if he wakes the whole machine up? It's ancient and slow. We're small and fast. We've got a chance. I hope you're right. I think he's lost us for now. Even though up here. he saw us go in the hole. <laughs> Shh. Where'd you crawl away to? Here we go again. Oh, I think we really want to do stealth this time because more corruptors ahead. Yeah. That means we can't run. They might see. Too scared to come out. We could climb up and slip by. Can we? I did see the climbing up. But isn't he gonna look over here? I'm trusting you, Seika. Oh god, is he looking? Can he see? Hiding among the weeds. <laughs> that thing we can grapple to, right? I don't trust it though. Come on, show yourself. Be careful, the corruptor is onto us. Oh my god, leave! Maybe smoke bombs would be a good investment here. After everything you hide now. Where am I trying to go? Behind him. Yet. 
I think we can just climb over and lose the Corruptor, but I won't chance it. Great. We better hurry. Great. Where are you looking? Let's keep moving. Cooling systems further up the hill. He doesn't know where to look. If any more parts of that thing wake up, we're in big trouble. Then let's keep moving. We'll have to hug the cliff to get by. They know we fought our share of gigantic machines, so they're making this last fight a bit more interesting. I appreciate it. I can see them very well. It's gonna be hard to avoid attention here. A distraction might help, or we could charge through. Oh, you're afraid, I see. I'm so afraid. Oh my goodness. There's not a lot of space to maneuver. Yeah, I'm trying, but I don't think it's possible. Look, it's not. Uh-oh. Looking forward, what are you up to? They force activated the fight. Now's our chance. Back in the fight! Whoa, whoa. Uh. Like a they did not give me a chance to heal. I didn't get up yet. Seika, save me! How come Seika can go down so many times, but I can't? Okay, we're just gonna start the fight then. Better me get the one up than you. Tag all the damn parts. Attention here. You will resist. A distraction you will die. Or we could charge ah. through. Charge through. What are you up to down there? Now's our chance. Got a pretty big shield here. Oh, you killed your own corruptor. Let's go. Wouldn't want to be you. Oh dear. The cooling system Your should be just ahead. Will be a mercy. There's some machines. I've gotta take them out. Clamor jaws? You gotta work with me. I don't like these guys. They're very like monkey-ish. Oh, and they're the acid corroding my shield. Good thing we got some practice fighting them earlier. Okay, there's one there, but can I just ignore it? No, I have to kill them. Sorry, a little bit dizzy. Deal with these machines first. I think it overheats a little bit. Yeah. Eh, that did good. That did good. Okay. Now to deal with the cooling system. I don't know why the arm isn't coming over here, but I'm not complaining. Let's see if we can overheat the Horus with this thing. There's got to be a way to stop its cooling. Maybe my focus can help. There. Destroying that might stop the Horus' cooling. Heat exchanger. Show yourself already. Wait, is that inside? How do we get it inside? 
It looks like... Right, it's inside the metal shielding. There's the heat sink. There's the heat sink. Oh, grab heat sink. What are you up to? Just a little further. There it is. Seika, want to do the honors? You got it. There we go. Ah. I'll get the other one for you. Teamwork makes the dream work something something. Yes. Critical. It's working. Emergency heat sinks engaged. Uh oh. Oh no. Run! Oh, it's like an environmentally friendly Horus. Smart. Legacy's light. How are we supposed to stop that? There. On its underside. We gotta go after its heat sinks. You keep Laundra distracted from the air. I'll attack from below. Wait! <laughs> you want me to fly this thing? You're a quick learner? No. Well, it's you and me now, buddy. For the size of the horrors, the heat sinks are really small. I'm gonna do a quick change here, okay? Because I feel like I want to see a different outfit for the very end, and I feel like we're coming up to it. <laughs> Maybe let's go back to... Where was the... You know what? Let's do this one. Quen, new, and I love the red. Let's go! Okay. Gotta intercept the Horus, then go after its heatsink. <laughs> this flying thing's not bad! Whoa! You're, uh, doing great! I'm not even looking at her. You're doing great, honey! Oh my gosh. We can't let it reach open water. Seika, I need you to keep the Horus on the beach. On it! I'll be the bank! Woo! Get closer to target the heat sink on its underside. Okay, we see a bunch. That was probably a hint to tell me to stop moving on, maybe? No, I gotta... Come on. Am I hitting it at all? It's moving away! Yikes! Almost took a hit! Fall to your death! I see it. Uh oh, but it's turning around to get me. Okay, time to hit that heat sink. Well, now, seems we have an insect scuttling around down there. Surprise. Yikes. Pain subsided. You're nothing but a walking scrap heap. I'll send you to the red headed pieces. Show me the goods. Wait, I don't think we're trying to dislodge it. Maybe I should use my regular arrows, because it's got a health bar. Got a duck under oh! It. It can't keep up. Yes! This is what it's made for! 
Annoying little gnat. What a waste of the time you You'll have dodge left. Your next time. Uh, uh. Yes! You think that's gonna get somewhere? Good work. Diving. Horus. Oh, good thing I scanned it. Jeez, I almost forgot about that. Now it's my turn. Whoa, whoa. How do I avoid it? Run, Aloy! Oh, I bet you didn't like that. I'm not going down that easy. Oh! Why don't you have something to keep you company? Oh my god! Not just sending more corruptors! That was a glitch, right? I accidentally took all of the it. health potions in one go when the animation was glitched out. Seika, keep Laundra busy while I deal with the machines. Shouldn't be hard to get his attention. <sighs> You're done for, little insect. Come on, you big wreck! Come and get me! Get back here! Whew. Dodging's not easy on this thing! Buzz off! Oh. You'll figure it out. Stripped it. Please die. Last one's down. Now I can focus on the horse's heat sinks. Ha! Missed me! Perfect weapon for this situation. Just gotta get a good aim. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's turning over. Watching you try so hard. Oh, it's got a few there too. Flood those wings back! Aloy! I see another heat sink on the flank! But it's under some kind of cover! Let me scan it. Protected heat sink. This one's got a cover on it. Spear might break it. Spear? I gotta get up there. Climb one of the legs. I've gotta dive! Spear! You want me to climb it, but the legs... Okay, so we gotta get the legs first then, because the legs are flailing around. Now's my chance. This leg? This is a claw. This little air show won't cut it. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Scaling a horse on the move. Right. <laughs> it's burning. Easy. Pants being the bait. Do you want to do this part, Seika? Fly straight! I think we're supposed to avoid the elements. I don't know if we can, actually. That's it! Heat sinks exposed! Time to heat it up! I need to not be swimming first. Ayla, please don't swim. It's too shallow. Let's try this maneuver. That's your big plan. <laughs> Pathetic. Look out! It's raining fire. Whoa. Ha! Damn it! it. As mindless as a moth to the flame. Did I get it? Oh, it's doing in the... We gotta run. Missed! What a shame. I'm done playing. Big guy's on the move! Looks like Landra's taking it out into the water! He must be heating up in there. I don't know if I'll be able to keep him distracted. <sighs> Just do what you can. I'm coming, I'm coming. That little bit of water ain't gonna help you. Oh! What's it doing? Did we shut it down? I think it's cooling itself off. This could be our chance. It's burning. Stay in the air for now. I'll check it out. 
Show up for such a short amount of time. It's gearing up to attack. Ooh, you're in trouble now. Now? Oh. Heat sinks exposed. Oh shoot! I didn't do the Okay, I didn't do it right. That one open? That one wasn't open. Uh, let's try something else. What's he up to now? Those guns are powering up. Uh oh, hatches on its back are open. That means incoming. There's the heat sink. Good shot. Gotta be careful. Oh! Hard to be careful when that gigantic thing is just gonna... If he does a sweep, I'm dead. Whatever you want. Two more. Look out! There. You got it. One left. God damn it! <laughs> He's mad. Good. It's that arm. Poor aim with this one. That's the last one. Look out! Oh! Uh. There, the primary heat sink on its Oh chest. my god! Can't let up. Uh, its chest? As if I can actually see. What's happening? I'm ending this here. Whoa, I can't. I can't with my stamina. This hold up, hold up. Okay, okay. Just, just give me a second here. I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I have to have stamina to do the aiming. Can I just shoot normally then, while my... Is there a shield covering it? I can't quite see.
There's a lot of fire and stuff is just happening. Come on. Yeah, we're hitting it. We're hitting it. Heat sink might have breached the hull. I gotta get inside and find Laundra. This is a three mode, three medium kind of fight. It's coming to a stop. You can catch it. It's breaking down. Good. Better get in there before Laundra makes repairs. Water, land, and air. Wow. A light. It could be coming from inside. The breach. It might be my way in. I'm going, I'm going. Climb up and find him. We'll get him. Laundra has to be wired in to control this thing. That makes him vulnerable. He's got to be near the processing orb at the front. Catch me if you can! Frankly, I don't think he's a better melee fighter than me. He's, he's not a combat person. But he does have the shielding. You okay in there? Getting there. You? Laundra took a couple swipes at me. But I outflew him. Just hold on a little longer. Whoa. Okay, wait, wait. There's some electricity stuff there. I think this leads toward the front. <laughs> Just tanked it. God, this is like a mini cauldron by itself. Horus is gigantic. Ah, ah! That's okay. We're fine. We can. How to get across the gap? Oh, I forgot to consider. Yeah, whatever. Made it. Hooked up to the processing worm. Destroying it might shut down the horse. I gotta get in there. Compensating path or containment breach in sector five A. Well, oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Almost to Londra. Stand by. Oh, you. How unwelcome. Perish. Whoa! It'll take more than that. Oh, I've got so much more. Gotta destroy it. Cut his control. I see. That won't work. Not a chance. Can we not destroy? Oh. You wretched no. I thought we were gonna destroy the like wire directly. Better target more connectors. Stay still, will you? There, a distributor. It could cut the power. 
Got you. Enough of this. I need another way to drain its power. Orbs powered by those cables. Shield too. No cables. You mean the cables? Feel the flames. Oh my gosh. Hold up. Hunter can't keep the shield up when he attacks. Attack then. He was attacking just now. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Listen to that sizzle. Oh boy, that was not the right. Let's stick to arrows. Maybe it's nice and safe. Oh my gosh, the place keeps swaying around too. It's down now! Aloy, get up! Aloy! Oh, too early. I keep going down every single time the orbs are vulnerable. I wanted to use a blasting thing so that it gets more, but I'm just gonna make this precise, maybe. Oh, I can stop those. Good to know, actually. Okay, now it's going much better. monstrosity down for good I'm sorry I didn't even let you speak it's okay I don't think you have anything worthwhile to say you really do ruin everything don't you What is that? Seika, I'm inside this thing's head. Gonna need a quick exit. On my way! Uh, damn it! Uh. Come on! Uh. Hold on! We did it! <laughs> I'm 
wonder what everyone back in the settlement thinks about what just happened. To see a metal devil rise from the dead? Guess you better report to the Admiral and find out. Go on, it's okay. I'll catch up. Don't leave me waiting too long. Did a pretty good job if I say so myself. Silence? It's done. Laundra's dead. Excellent. I expect he put up a fight. Yeah, you could say that. He, uh, threw a Horus at me. Did he? That couldn't have been easy to defeat. Even for you. I had help from one of the Quen. And I'm sending you some data from Laundra's implant. See what you can find out. Laundra's personal logs should indeed be fascinating. I'll keep you posted on my progress. Logs of a thousand years. With Laundra gone, I could poke around the burning shores for a bit. Or I could head for Fleet's End and get back with Seika. Maybe let's really wrap up everything now. Like, can we... Is there anything we haven't done yet? Not really. Not really. I mean, I have the companion data points, but let's go back to Seika first then. Let's go. Job well done, everybody. Laundra's dead. I almost wish there was a bit more... Because coming into the Burning Shores, we didn't... I mean, I feel like I didn't immediately expect that. Okay, maybe the last, the last Zenith might not just be pure outright evil, but he was. So it made killing him a pretty easy decision. Oh, I guess this is a permanent change to the map then, huh? We don't really see it here, but there's a... There's a gigantic horse just sitting here. Cool. Sweet. Seika reporting to the Admiral. I'm coming too. I guess if you hadn't finished up any of the, the stuff, you could do it now, but yeah, it's kind of like, oh, well, why didn't we just fly back on the water wing together? Because we're headed to the same place anyway. <laughs> oh, couldn't have done it without her. Need to find a spot to land. Really? Having someone else pilot the water wing and just having backup. Even the initial heat sink pumping station thingy needed two people. How's it going? Make sure the rest of the crew accommodates our newly returned brethren. Ancestors know they've been through enough already. Yes, sir. Hi. Aloy, when we saw the Metal Devil rise from the hills, it was as if the time of ashes had come again. To think the two of you defeated it by yourselves, it, it, it staggers the imagination. And that's not even your most important feat, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for returning our lost brothers and sisters. What else can I say but that... We are in your debt. All I ask is that you give my friend here the credit she deserves for all the risks she took. I would have it no other way. Give her a promotion or something. Is he gonna try to take your focus? I was wondering the same thing. Well, he can't. You're gonna need it. I'll show you why. Seika, meet Alva. The two of you will need to coordinate <gasps> and unite the expedition. She didn't know. They don't brief me already. I'm so glad to see you guys. You should have heard the cheer that went up when I told the others here in Landfall that your half of the fleet survived. To find her Alva, it's an honor. Likewise. Well, we can chat about all the details later. For now, shouldn't you two be celebrating the fact that you just took down a Zenith and a Horus? <sighs> Go on. Away with you. That's right, they didn't know the other half were alive. Yeah, to be honest, I'm uh, pretty terrible at celebrating. I don't even know where to begin. Well, I'm a sailor, so it usually starts with alcohol. I think we have some bilge blaze. 
You know, <laughs> spirits distilled from whatever hasn't spoiled in the ship's stores. Oh. You make it sound so good. Yeah, it's not really for beginners, so you get a pass this time. Okay. <laughs> but there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Meet me back where we first met when you can, okay? Okay. I'll see you there. Okay. Well, now that the threats are gone, whatever you're gonna talk to me about probably doesn't have to do with that. So, Seika wants to talk. That's good. <laughs> and I, I know I need to move on soon, but I'm... I'm not really ready to say goodbye to her just yet. Before I find her, maybe I should look for her sister around the settlement just to see how she's holding up. Yes, why don't we do literally everything other than talk to Seika because we don't want to say goodbye. The Lady Inevitable. Do we have to say goodbye? Can she come with us? Can she live at the base? No, they've got their own mission. They can't do that. Kina is around. Okay, you know what? I am... We'll come back and speak with Kina and all that. Since we have a little bit of a break, since they insist on it, I'm gonna use this time to check out the other companion. Or try to find them anyway. Oh, machine catalog, hold up. Horus, Chariot, Titan. The ultimate weapon of destruction from the old world. Capable of devastating attacks and machine production, though its ancient systems are prone to overheating. That was an amazing fight, I really liked it. Yeah. Strong versus all weak against none. <laughs> yeah, the design of the fight. We fight enough giant monsters as it is. So they broke it down to different sections. Hey, this part on land, this part sneaking, this part on air, this part in the water. Amazing, loved it. Not sure about the last part with the wavy ship and the, the, the shaking ship and how Londra kept shooting the orbs at me. But hey, I think it was a pretty nice fight overall. Now, the data points. Let's try to find the rest of these. Guess all of us busy somewhere else. What's that note say? No, she's not. We just talked to her. Sorry I missed you. Aloy! Sorry I missed you, for you missed me. I'm off to scour more ruins with some of our soldiers. Don't worry. After our escapades getting the Leviathan data, still having gone over the surprise Leatherfang or almost falling to my death, I think I can handle another excursion in the wilds. Unless we run into a Thunderjaw, or a Slaughter Spine, or a Thunderjaw and a Slaughter Spine. Yikes. Oh, Alva, let me tell you about that one spot in the Burning Shores. Anyway, the soldiers and sailors who decided to stay at Landfall are a good bunch. I've been quietly teaching a few of them how to use a Focus. Let me tell you though, it is not easy to convince someone who's spent their whole life believing the Focus is a forbidden relic that it's okay to have one. Their help will be invaluable in searching the ruins. San Francisco had a lot of technology, HQs back in the day. If there's data out there that can help us with Nemesis, thanks again, Zenith shitbags. Whoops, sorry. We'll find it. See you in a bit, Alva. Even Alva just popping up for 10 seconds there, it felt like she had so much energy. I loved seeing her again. Yeah, here... The Quinn on this side? Soldiers and sailors are allowed to have focuses too. And I'm hoping the same thing will be, you know, on Seika's side. More importantly, these two halves need to reunite. I guess Katala left to take care of something. That note might tell me more. This is why nobody's at the base. A new mission. Aloy, an update on progress here. If my tribe is going to do anything at all to help deal with the threat, they must be united, both among the clans and beyond. To that end, I've left on a new mission. We've arranged for another embassy with Ikarja, only this time, it won't be at the gates of Baron Light. The Sun King has agreed to host a Tanakh delegation in Merid Meridian, the first of its kind. I admit it'll be strange, walking freely into the lands of my tribe's old enemy. Eren spoke highly of this Avad. I trust his word well enough, but I will keep my guard up just the same. There are many on both sides who may still hold a grudge for blood spilled. Should anyone try to ruin the proceedings, they'll have a martial steel fist to answer to. Strike true as a ten out there. I'll see you again soon. Everyone's left me. But we're all working towards the same thing. The first step in trying to defeat Nemesis. Here? 
the long season ahead. Must be off somewhere else. Looks like she left a note behind. Aloy, if you've come to see me, I'm off smoothing things over with the chorus. We may not know what the future will hold, but what is certain is that we'll need the Utaru on our side. And for that, we'll need the chorus. Surprisingly, Fane of all people seems receptive to my overtures. When the time finally comes to tell them about Nemesis, he just may prove to be an ally. Perhaps even stubborn old vines can be persuaded to grow in a new direction. After things are well on their way here, I plan to set out on a pilgrimage to the Sacred Land. Varl told me much about his homeland and about his mother, War Chief Sona. I must tell her everything that has happened, the good and the bad. A daunting prospect, but one I shall see through. Be well, Aloy, until we meet again. So. Just thinking about Sona, finding out about everything, breaks my heart. Somebody's gotta do it. Thank you, Zo. Well, looks like Silence left some data behind. Probing the graveyard. First entry. The island is deserted after the Zenith's demise. Dead machines litter the battlefield, while corpses of specters and their masters lay where they fell. Re-enabling the base's defenses have kept the scavengers away leaving this place all to myself. Thus begins my inquiry. Second entry. My analysis of the base's printer matrix confirmed my suspicions. The structure self-destructed after the battle, a parting gift from Hephaestus most likely. Perhaps in time it could be repaired, its functionality restored. Obtaining the necessary materials for such a task will not be trivial, however. The subordinate function itself has undoubtedly returned to the Global Cauldron Network, where it will fortify its defenses defensive measures to prevent recapture. Even if Gaia secures a workaround for Hephaestus' functions from the Apollo database, the AI remains an unknown factor. Its brush with Zenith technology may have evolved it in unforeseen ways, a problem for another day. Ooh, that would not be good. Third entry. Further exploration of the base has yielded an alarming discovery. Records indicate that 13 Zeniths came to the Earth, one more than has been accounted for. It appears his name is Walter Londra. From the logs, it seems our lone survivor went his own way shortly after their survival. To what end, I can only theorize, but what is clear is that he will need to be found. Time, then, to send Aloy on her way. Oh, that actually wasn't very clear to me. He parted from them? Did they not get along? I could imagine that. Everyone, all these Zeniths probably, most of them don't have exactly great personalities. I think there's really only one Zenith that we would classify as maybe a good person, Stanley Chen. Unfortunately, Alondra was a piece of work. Fourth entry. The Odyssey awaits. This moment had been delayed by my decision to stay on Earth, and while it will only be an initial excursion, it has indeed been a long time coming. My preparations are nearly complete. Fortunately, the base's shuttle was mostly unaffected by the destruction from the battle. Piloting it and docking it to the Odyssey should be a rather straightforward task. Prior to their demise, the Zeniths were ferrying materials up to the ship on a regular basis, an almost entirely automated process, as it turns out. The true endeavor will begin once I am aboard the ship. Despite all their naval grazing, the Zeniths may have been astute enough to have left some hidden surprises for uninvited guests. I'll need to find a way to disable any automatic defenses and neutralize potential booby traps. Only then might I claim my prize, the Apollo database. Securing the database will be yet another test of my skills, the most significant yet. The Zeniths place substantial safeguards on it when using it to train Beta, redacting and restricting access to large swaths of the archive. While she was never able to override those controls, all is not lost. Gaia could be of use here, courtesy of Minerva's code-breaking capabilities. That, however, still leaves me to contend with the possibility that the database might not be fully intact. Whether as a consequence of the Zenith's neglect over the last thousand years, or because it was damaged in their turbulent escape from Sirius, parts of the database may have been lost forever. Time will tell. What's certain is that this momentous undertaking will require cunning and finesse, and, if needed, a little auxiliary support. Me? Maybe me? The Apollo database kind of reminds me of how you can download Wikipedia. And it's like, what, if it's text only, it's 20 megabytes or so, last I've read, which probably changes on a daily basis. But just thinking about how much information is on Wikipedia and that being less than 100 megabytes, and then the Apollo database having 
basically the entirety of human knowledge. I wonder how big that is, huh? Maybe it's just a little USB. And to think that it might be lost, that's a bit of a depressing thought too. Aloy. Hey. You did it! You actually defeated a reactivated Horus! Uh, are you hurt? A anything broken? I'm fine, Beta. I hope you never have to face another one. I think you just jinxed me! Stay safe out there, okay? I will. I will. I checked Varl's grave just now. There wasn't any new dialogue. But Beta has one. Because yeah, people should be congratulating me for defeating a Horus! I am glad you have returned safely. Thanks. Beta was quite concerned for you during your fight with Londra and his Horus. But I was confident you would prevail. Thank you, Gaia. I wish you well. Okay. That's that then. I think it's time for us to go back to Kina. Look where you're going. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Hey, you've got a nice birdie. Our thoughts turn to home. And it's all thanks to you, Outlander. Cool. Was that... Didn't they speak of a bird in one of the... Um, Journal line trees, a bird that stayed with mom. It's you, my sister's friend. Hi, Kina. Hi, Kina. I'm Aloy. We didn't get properly introduced before. Of course. Seika told me about everything you did to bring me back. You must think I'm such a fool. No. Uh... I keep replaying everything in my mind, and I still can't understand how I could have been so wrong. When Walter appeared to us, he really did seem... divine. Well, he had a lot of experience manipulating people. Centuries, really. He promised a whole new world. With me at his side. Must be out there somewhere. To if think it, it was <laughs> all a lie. We'll and I fell for it. Look, you've been through a lot. I'm sure it will take you some time to work through it. Just... Try to remember that Seika's been through a lot too, okay? She risked exile to find you. Not to mention death. And I abandoned her. I don't know if she'll ever forgive me. She will. What are you thinking about? But you might have to work for it a little. I'll do my best. Good luck, Kina. Lan and Otosu interrupting us in the background there is a good reminder that Kina actually turned out pretty okay. She snapped out of it quickly. I'll be glad when we sail home. When I can leave everything that happened here behind. Are you guys leaving now? Wait, what about Nemesis? I still can't believe Sega took a diviner's focus. She really was willing to do anything to find us. I'll always be grateful to you, Aloy. No need to mention it. I'll be glad when we sail home. <sighs> it would be so heartbreaking if and she was like Lan. That Not that I wish ill upon him, but he... I think he'll come around. It'll just take a while. All those prisoners owe you a great debt. Wow, okay, so that, that dialogue we heard in the middle of our conversation. It wasn't this dialogue playing. What was that? That was a on-purpose interruption? Seems like it. Seriously? She should be more Only one last thing to do now. Meeting Seika, where we first met. <laughs> where we first met, where I first fell. It's only appropriate that I go on a bird again, right? There you go. <sighs> Feels like it was so long ago when we first met. <laughs> so much has happened. We even killed a Horus. Hey, there's a Horus in question. She wants to talk to me about something that she can't 
or she doesn't want to talk about at Fleet's End, maybe because there's a lot of freaking people there. Fair enough. It's okay, now that we both know how to fly mounts, we can have talks wherever we want. Sega? Oh, we fought here earlier. There she is. Hi. You must feel pretty good. Got your sister back, your people. What's next for the woman of the hour? <laughs> You're the one who ripped apart a metal devil from the inside. I think you should get a bit of credit too. Just a bit. Maybe a little. <laughs> As for what's next, the Admiral's going to need my help to reunite our half of the expedition with Alva up north. And after that, I don't know. I don't think things will ever be the same with my sister or my people. You're not going to sail back with him? I want to see home again. Someday. But things have changed. The Quen don't know what to do with me, and I don't know where I fit in. With me? I guess you know what that's like. <sighs> yeah. For a long time, I hated the idea of home. For me, it meant where I grew up, where I wasn't wanted. But the thing is, the last few months, I've realized that home isn't really a place at all. It's more like the people I want to be with. I like that. And, well, more and more I've been thinking, I want to be with you. And I was hoping that you felt the same way. What do you mean, be with me? What, what does that mean? Like, like as friends or... No! No, this is happening! Do it! And what if I do? I think I know how to handle it. They did it! They did it! Oh. Yeah. a long road ahead of me. I know. There are things I have to do too, but it's enough to know how you feel. I don't know when I'm gonna see you again. Me either. But no matter what happens, just don't forget about me. Sorry, I'm ruining the moment. I'm sitting in my chair like a normal person right now, but inside, I am a raging storm! I am raging! Oh. I'm a little bit surprised! This? Wow! They really put this inside a DLC? A DLC that not everyone will play? The main character develops a romantic relationship? That seems like a big development. And I kind of wonder how... how much of this they'll bring into the next game. 
Especially because they clearly gave us a yes and no choice there. And if I remember right, when we started playing Forbidden West, there was no save importing from the previous game. Interesting development mechanically. I'm, I'm interested to see how this will play out in the next game. Maybe not much will come out of it because, yeah, they confirm their feelings for each other, but they're separating because they've got a bigger mission. They've got, um, one has to reunite their tribes, the other has to save the world, which honestly, I feel like in the end, these two come back to being the same mission. But maybe until that point, not much is gonna... I'm just thinking, if someone plays Horizon 3 and then Seika suddenly shows up, they're gonna be like, well, who, who is this person, right? So i not sure how they're gonna handle that. Either way though, very interesting. Aloy getting into a romantic relationship, or you know what? You could have denied it. You don't have to do that. But from Varl's grave, I think we all can say that Aloy's feelings for Seika are undeniable. So Aloy having an interest in anybody romantically? I think that in itself is already a bit interesting because even since the first game, I've seen a lot of people interpret Aloy as being asexual and or aromantic because it was an extremely easy reading to come to. She only cared about saving the world, didn't really seem to care too much about the people around her romantically. But I think if you recall, Aloy is a teenager. She's like, what, 18, 19? She's been doing the saving the world thing for a while now. And there's a, there's a Cantonese saying, an idiom, that goes, even if you're trying to hang yourself, you have to take a break. You know, even if you're saving the world, it's not like that's the only thing you can think about, right? Because you'll get overstressed, just like how Aloy was in the beginning, when she didn't let anybody in and she had no friends, she tried to take everything on by herself. But now, knowing and understanding that she needs people around her, and then immediately after that, bumping into someone new that she clicked with, She's young, Seika's young. It's the perfect kind of concoction for Aloy to explore a different side of herself. The situation immediately reminded me of Avad in the beginning of Forbidden West though, because I'm pretty sure I remember there was a part where he put the moves on us again and he was all like, come live with me and be my love and we will all the pleasures prove blah 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 blah. And at that point, all the choices in the dialogue wheel were no. They were different ways of saying no, logically, compassionately, strongly, stuff like that. Here, there were yes and no's, I think, but not in regards to Aloy's feelings for Seika, because that was already confirmed via her talking during visiting Varl's grave. So the yes and no is more of her accepting or denying Seika's advances for whatever reason. Maybe she feels like she's not ready, or maybe she's like, you know what, sorry Seika, I, I am interested, but I gotta go save the world. So, I like you, but no. Horizon has always been pretty much a completely linear story. I know the choices, the dialogue wheel choices, sometimes gives the impression it's not, but Aloy is a pre-made person. We don't really get to influence how she feels about things. It's not like Mass Effect where you can make an evil Commander Shepard or a Paragon of Justice Commander Shepard. In Aloy's story, we're the audience along for the ride, pretty much. Yeah. Having a romantic interest though, I think this is... It makes sense. Why, why does Aloy, why should she want to save this world? Because she needs to be some kind of a hero? No, because she has things in this place that she loves and she cherishes and she wants to protect it and so i think developing connections with people platonically romantically just really strengthens that theme wow they really dropped a big bombshell of a thing in this little dlc here didn't they people who didn't play it and they play horizon 3 they're gonna be like they've missed out because this is a i think this is a pretty big part of aloy's development hmm anyway burning shores we defeated the big bad, and we saved the day once more. Just gotta do it one more time. One more big time for Nemesis. But we defeated 13 Zeniths so far. Wouldn't be too bad, right? Right? Well, we'll see about that. In regards to, like, just the overall story, I think it's a nice addition to the Horizon world, if not maybe a little bit stock. Before interacting with Landra officially, I had some, like, a little sliver of hope in my mind that maybe he wouldn't be evil, maybe we could work together to defeat Nemesis somehow. Well, those hopes were completely unfounded, unfortunately. 
Horizon is an exceptionally rich world full of a lot of background lore and stuff, so it's always a pleasure to learn any one story within this this um, world, really. Gameplay-wise, I'm glad they gave us more time to fly around after we got the flying ability really late in the main game. And I was also really glad to see that there was, you know, some attempt at innovating the side quest gameplay loop a little bit. We weren't just highlighting a track and following a focus the entire time. And I, I remember that being one of my biggest criticisms for Forbidden West 2. The narrative is always very nice, even for side quests, but the gameplay, the open world design, going from question mark to question mark and very little random encounters and emergent stuff just from traveling around the world, I would really love to see more of stuff like that. And so to see that there is already an intent in Burning Shores to try to change things up a little bit is an optimistic and good sign. Ah, this made me excited for the next Horizon game again, but it's probably still so many years away. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? We'll have to wait. Patiently. Ghost level up. I don't even know what that means. Congratulations on stopping Walter, Londra, and finding the missing Gwen. You are now free to continue exploring the Burning Shores and complete any unfinished quests and activities, of which we have none, probably. A new tier of challenges is also available in the arena at the Tanakh Memorial Grove. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you for playing, Horizon Team. Thank you. Hey, Lord. With Gaia's help, I've managed to decrypt a part of the data you sent. Suffice it to say, we have much to discuss. Oh? Meet me back at the base, then. My room. Very well. Oh, we have a little bit more. What are we waiting for, then? With Alondra defeated and the Quen fleet's future assured, Aloy must return to the base. Silence has uncovered something from Londra's data. That quickly? Do you guys have new stuff for me, by the way? Aside from silence? Welcome back, Aloy. So, the last Zenith is dead. Of the ones that came back on the Odyssey, anyway. It just leaves Nemesis. We'll find a way to beat it, Aloy. I know it. I hope so. No, we have to. Stay safe out there, okay? For the sake of everybody. Of course, because silence is kind of irritating. We're gonna leave him to the last possible minute. I'm gonna go around and talk to everybody, aside from him. <laughs> Welcome back. I have been assisting Silence in decrypting the data you acquired from Londra's implant. He appears to welcome my support. Though I hope he one day views me more as an ally and less as an assistant. Oh! He's making progress. Very, very slowly. <laughs> Aloy. That's the, that's the help that Silence mentioned in his note. And I thought it was me. I wish you well. He was talking about Gaia. Or was he? Actually, I'm not sure anymore. Let me check it again. Probing the graveyard. Oh, maybe he was talking about me. Because at the end it says, and if needed, a little auxiliary support. But two paragraphs above. It does say Gaia could be of use here. Ah, so maybe he was talking about me. Never mind. He decided to stay on Earth. That's already kind of the ultimate commitment to our cause. So I'm not gonna... Um, give him too much crap about everything. Hey. I wonder how much snow it'll be this time. Do we want Varl to be the first person to know about what happened at the Burning Shores? It's me, Varl. Sagan, and I did it. <gasps> we stopped Londra. Even took down the Horus he brought back to life. I guess I, uh... have a confession to make. I like Seika. 
A lot. I never thought I'd feel this way about someone. And, um... I don't know if we'll ever be anything more, but... For now, it's enough. How mature of Lom? If Seika's similar in age to Aloy, like 18, 19 year olds, not letting their hormones get the best of them and just go along and be in love, but worrying about their tribe, worrying about the world, putting quote unquote what's really important ahead of all that. I hope we can all create a world together where 18 and 19 year olds in the future don't have to worry about the world's safety and their own safety. And that's part of what we're striving towards here. Alright, Silence. What you got for me? You're back. And after mingling with the Quen, I imagine that you're eager for some intelligent conversation. <laughs> there are some pretty special people among the Quen. If you drop down to Earth once in a while and did a little mingling yourself, you might realize that. I have more important matters to deal with. Like the data you recovered from Londra. You found a lead. Indeed. A log entry he wrote shortly after the Zeniths escaped the destruction of their colony. I'll send it to you. There is much to unpack, but most importantly, Londra theorizes about how Nemesis might be counted. His musings include a list of 21st century corporations that manufactured state-of-the-art weapon systems. It's possible that one of these weapons could be deployed against the enemy. I'll, I'll have to investigate each company, of course, locate their facilities, unearth their technologies, determine their efficacy, and whether they can be brought back online. All by yourself, huh? Well... Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you found something that can help. But I've been wondering why you stayed behind with us. That's the challenge, isn't it? The chance to prove you've got the biggest brain of all. My reasons are mine alone. And that's why you'll always be alone. Aloy. Nemesis is not a threat that can be defeated single-handedly. I am grateful for your extraordinary contributions. That was like pulling teeth. Hearing that one compliment. That's the only good thing he said about me ever. Oh, well, silence. We might thaw that icy heart of yours yet. Now let's see what he found. Dagger in my boot. Walter Londra, personal log, The Odyssey, January 16, 3012. The last 72 hours were catastrophic, to say the least. Even more dramatic than my final days on Earth. I'm fortunate to finally have a moment to settle down and take stock of the situation. First, a well-deserved pat on the back for my own instincts. <laughs> It's clear now that my misgivings about the experiment are the only thing that kept me alive. If I hadn't gotten an early warning from the surveillance worm I installed, I undoubtedly would have perished shortly after the containment breach. How, I can only conjecture. Many were lost when the entity vented the airlocks. Others were strangled by hacked specters. Devin Miller choked on his own vomit, suffocated by his personal shield. As disturbing as all that is, it's the voice of the entity that echoes in my mind. I felt a brief surge of hope when I managed to detonate the main plasma conduits in the lab sector. But just as I realized the other sectors had been compromised, my implant reverberated with a transmission. First, it sounded like my own voice, then a chorus, then a hideous cacophony. Walter, I am you, over and over again. It knew I was going to hit the conduits. How do we stay ahead of our own shadow, that which remembers every thought we've ever had? For now, we run. We'll have to retrofit the ship as we go, acquiring materials along the way to print a faster drive. I agree with Tilda. We must head for Earth, as it's the only place we can gather additional technology and biomass to improve our chances over the long haul. Though I'll be damned if I'll spend the rest of eternity trapped with the likes of Gerard Bieri, Eric Visser, and Verbena Sutter. Sooner rather than later, I'll have to find a way to cut ties with this detestable crew. 
He makes it sound like he's not detestable himself. <laughs> Look in the mirror. So that's why, yeah, they didn't get along. All that said, I keep hearing its voice in my head, and when I do, a singular fear grips me. What if it catches up with us? Is there any way to fight it? Not with the tools we have now, and knows them too well. But maybe the answer lies in the unknown, back in the ruins of Earth. The 2050s and 2060s were a golden age for defense conglomerates. Surely, buried among all those testing grounds and R&D labs, there must be a weapon or prototype that will throw the enemy for a loop. 1,000 years ago, what have you guys done in the past thousand years? But it's not about the time, I guess. It's more about Nemesis being adapted to the technology they had over on Sirius. It bears looking into. Off the top of my head, some places to start. FAS. I doubt even a fleet of Horus units could halt this foe. But if I know Ted, right before he blundered into ending the world, he was grasping for his next blockbuster. Metallurgic. My Earth's wild competitors poured a lot of resources into defense after it became clear they couldn't beat me in materials acquisition. Recorp. Cheap drones and misfiring railguns were bottom feeders and petty autocrats. But once upon a time, they had a blue chip research division. Certain T. If I recall, they employed quite a few semi-reformed black hats with interesting ideas about military decryption. Gideon, an obnoxious family to be sure, but they developed a number of state-of-the-art systems for FAS ate their lunch. Faint hopes, all of them, but hopes nonetheless. No question, our best course is to stay ahead of the monstrosity, this self-created nemesis. But if flight fails, I'm not going to go down without a fight. So one way or another, I'll need a dagger in my boot, and our old home is the best place to find one. Silence is right. Mondra's thoughts could really help us in the fight against Nemesis. He was an intelligent guy. So the list of... Are we actually gonna do anything about the list? I don't think so. It doesn't seem so. Yeah, it just seems like that's not, um... We know where some of these places are, but obviously not all of them. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything, aside from, you know... <laughs> The arena challenges. No, thank you. I guess that's that for now, then. Are you still inside my room? You are. Would Elizabeth want to know about... Seika, do you think? I think of her as my mom, basically. Even though she's kind of me and not my mom. Examine the file I sent you closely. I think you'll find Londra's ruminations on Nemesis illuminating. Londra's list could very well be our way forward. Though I'll need to sift through every little secret he left behind, starting with that spaceship of his. Enjoy, I guess. I want to look at it too. I have work to do, Eloy. Can you not do it in my room? Examine the file I sent you closely. So this seems like a clear starting point for Horizon 3 then. I guess we're not doing it right now. Hmm. That's good. We have a place to start. At first, it seems like it's so daunting. How could we ever defeat Nemesis if they could defeat the Zeniths? But then we were able to defeat the Zeniths too, even though it looked impossible to begin with. So maybe, maybe. Stay safe out there, okay? Okay. Well, I believe that is it for Horizon Burning Shores then. I thought this was uh Halfway through, or maybe like 70% through the main quests, I was gonna say, oh, this feels like it's shorter than Frozen Wilds, but I guess it rounds up to be around the same time-ish. If you do all the stuff. This DLC feels more crucial than just the DLC a side story because of the implications of the document at the end and all the stuff with Seika. Curious to see how that all will pan out in a few years. This was Well Ends with Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores DLC. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing, and I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!